in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ the lenten message from the holy father tells us to open our eyes to what's really happening around us it talks about how god listened to the cries of israel in the old testament it asks us to think about whether we notice when others are suffering the way of the cross is an invitation for each of us we make this journey with jesus our lord who suffered died and who rose again on the third day gloriously through the mystery of passion death and resurrection god chose to offer freedom and hope to humanity we are called to bear witness to him and offer hope to all our brothers and sisters who are suffering as we walk and journey together with christ we pray for a better world may our world be filled with justice and peace other crosses they should keep to the moon full mother we be close to jesus to the last first station jesus is condemned to death we adore you o christ and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world jesus was condemned to death he had his most basic right the right to life taken away from him they decided to kill the one who came to bring us the fullness of life jesus was arrested the soldiers took him away his clothes were taken off the high priests asked him questions they have wounded him put a crown made of sharp thorns on his head and now handed over to be condemned to death by pontius pilate death on a cross jesus was unjustly condemned by those who misunderstood him today we continue to unjustly condemn others based on race gender beliefs religion disability and the list is endless in our societies people are unjustly judged and condemned prayer jesus you experienced a terrible injustice you were condemned to death your own people the roman judges and the soldiers didn't recognize that you were the son of god give us the grace to see respect and love you in our brothers and sisters both innocent and guilty who suffer in our society change our hearts that we may not condemn people falsely who are around us have mercy on us lord have mercy may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace through her heart a sorrow sharing all his bitter anguish bearing now at length the sword had passed second station jesus takes up his cross we adore you o christ and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world in those days the condemned person was not put to death quickly and privately but slowly and publicly 
the aim was to discredit the person in the eyes of the people hence jesus was made to carry his cross through the streets of jerusalem to the place of the execution jesus took up his cross today what we have to do is to take up our cross our cross is not made of wood but of our burdens worries problems illnesses old age and dependence the cross we carry may not be visible to others there are the burdens of constant peer of loneliness and of isolation the invitation of jesus on the cross is to hand over these burdens to him prayer lord may we see your presence in all the burdens we carry today give us the courage and strength we need to carry our cross help us to share our burdens more freely grant us the grace to acknowledge our fears and our pain may your face shine on each one of us through the crosses we bear Have mercy on us Lord have mercy May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace How sad and so distressed Was that mother highly blessed of the soul begotten third station jesus falls for the first time we adore you o christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world look at jesus fall under his cross jesus reaches a point where his body can take no more he hits a physical limit that crashes him to the ground He didn't look like God when he fell into the dirt on the way to Calvary. The crowds look on with disdain at this man whom they see as a sinner who has been condemned to death by the authorities. But here in this journey Jesus shows us that being victorious does not mean staying on one's feet at all costs. but it is all about getting up again after falling and starting off on the road chosen when someone falls what is our first reaction do we laugh at them like the crowd that mocked jesus or do we reach out if we look around us more intently we'll see that many are falling one way or another whether physically emotionally or spiritually it is here that the eyes of christ meet ours on his shoulders quite literally rests the wo- weight of the world its people and their sins and it is heavy so he stumbles but he doesn't stay flat on the ground rather gathers the courage and gets up in him with him and through him we too are lifted up from the ground by this cross we are lifted back to our feet better equipped to recognize Christ in others and be Christ to them prayer Jesus it is easy to see your image in the holy people and those whom we love help us to see you in the weak the stranger the unloved those rejected by the society and condemned as unforgivable sinners 
for you had a place in your heart for Zacchaeus, the good thief, and even for those who crucified you. Give us the same compassionate heart. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Christ above in torment hangs, she beneath beholds the pangs of her dying glorious Son. Fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When Jesus and his mother meet, they just look at each other. Words cannot express how they feel. What he saw in his mother's eyes must have hurt him more than the raw pain of his wounds. In the eyes of his mother, Jesus sees a heart pierced through by the anguish. He sees at the same time the fear that wells up in us too. Fear of suffering alone, fear of dying alone, fear of having our world delivered into the hands of exploiters and cruel, selfish political leaders. Innocent people who suffer the ongoing threat of violence in the society and even in their home. The pain of parents who watch their children giving up their life to drugs, addictions and suicide. But in this life journey, in our own stations of the cross, we are not alone. Let us be won over by the eyes of Jesus. May we allow him to make his way through our fears and our anguish. As witnesses of bloody wars that rob countless numbers of human beings of a quiet family life, let us intercede with Christ our Savior so that undertakings of peace may have victory and the powers of destruction be defeated. Let us remain hopeful, for even though we are disfigured by the wounds of separation and exile, we remain united in Christ, the one who is our hope. Prayer O oh Jesus, we pray for innocent people who can no longer bear the bloodshed, the killings and the undertaking of arms. We pray for the families grieving loved ones. You, our only Savior, revive our hope so that we may become with Mary witnesses of a life stronger than death. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Is there one who would not be well in misery so deep? Christ your mother to behold. Fifth station Simon helps Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Simon, a stranger in the city, did not know Jesus. But that did not matter. What matters here is that in this moment of need, Simon was capable of lending his shoulders to one whose own had given out of offering his strength to one who had nothing left, 
of taking on himself the cross which Jesus could no longer carry Look at Jesus who lies hidden and unknown beneath every person in need Across our world we see human suffering in the faces of strangers in the faces of those struggling for democracy in the middle east and beyond in the faces of those dealing with the loss of life and destruction of property people we know of but do not know must live with aftermath of ravages and destructive forces of nature copying with floods and drought with the effects of climatic change we are called to help in many ways no no matter what our age and we have endless opportunities we can help prepare food for the hungry we can lighten the burden of the homeless by serving in programs designed to help their situations we can learn to love our neighbors regardless of the color of their skin we can pray for refugees and immigrants and we can accept offers of help graciously as Jesus did prayer lord help us to grasp our opportunities to be a simon in our world in those times when we can help let us have the generosity to do so may we continue the spirit of simon throughout our day to day charity and all who work to elevate suffering in our world lord may we have the humility to accept all the simons along our road who reach out to help us in our moments of need have mercy on us lord have mercy may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace can the human heart refrain from partaking in the pain in that mother's pain and all sixth station Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Veronica was so moved by the sight of Jesus suffering that she courageously moved out from the crowd to wipe the blood and sweat from his face with a towel. She was rewarded when the image of his face was transferred to the towel. It is a suffering face, disfigured with wounds. Yet this is the only image of himself that Jesus chose to live with us. Today, the visible face of Christ, the church, stands before us till wounded and disfigured disfigured by its own sins of abuse of children and power and creased with the wounds of hurt and betrayal the face of christ calls us to look upon and heal the sins of our church prayer Jesus give your wounded church the courage of Veronica so that we may wash the face of Christ clean from the disfigurement of our sin 
Help us to bring healing to the scars that hide the beauty of your face to the world. Give us the faith to continue to build your church as a visible sign of your love and compassion. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Bruce Day ride at Curse Day fine She beheld a tender child All wet blood is Curse's rent Seventh Station Jesus falls for the second time We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world stretched to breaking point by his awful scourging bowed under the weight of the cross worn out by the abandonment of all his friends jesus stumbles again in our present life there is lot of crosses that people carry and with their overloaded struggle sometime they fall jesus suffered with us i say fell he calls us now to trust that both his and our falling are a true part of the way of the cross maybe all that we can do when we fall is to remember that jesus fell and is falling now with us that remembrance may become the first knowledge that there is hope and that hope may bind together in the world and show us the direction to a more just and loving societies prayer jesus You know all the moment of our struggles in which we no longer want to go on and we try to give up by allowing despair to take its destructive course Jesus from deep within yourself you found the courage and strength to get up once again and continue the journey give us your strength to keep going even when hope is dim have mercy on us lord have mercy may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace for the sins of his own nation so him hang in the solation till his spirit forth his send eighth station jesus meets the women of jerusalem we adore you o christ and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world as jesus was led to his execution women mourned and lamented for him these women were accustomed to cry for the condemned criminals and their mourning was considered as work of mercy but jesus says to them do not weep for me weep rather for your children our world does not mourn much even when there is reasons to mourn as wars ex- explode and as many people die with violence and natural disasters if we want to mourn we have to mourn for the suffering humanity that jesus came to heal if we are truly sad because of the suffering and pain which Jesus suffered then we will include in our sadness all men women and children who suffer in our present world prayer 
Lord, open our hearts to the suffering of all people in our world. Give us generosity of spirit to help us recognize their pain, the courage to challenge the systems that place intolerable burdens on them and the compassion to support them. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Dearest Mother, fond of love, touch my spirit from above. Make my heart with yours a Nine Station Jesus falls for a third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider Jesus falling for the third time. He feels exhausted amidst the cries of the people and his own health deteriorating. It seems that he is going to give up in between the journey towards the cross. Yet, he gets up, keeping in mind his Father's mission and our salvation. Sometimes in our life, we feel exhausted, especially in today's world where we strive after instant success, instant fame, instant gratification, and when we are not able to achieve it, we feel dejected, broken, and give up on life. It is in these crucial moments Jesus calls us to be patient to ourselves, to know that in these struggles we are not alone, that God is with us. Let us ask ourselves, what is that we need to focus on? What are the areas we are struggling? Let's surrender everything at this moment. Prayer Lord Jesus, you continued your journey even in the midst of physical and spiritual tribulations, fulfilling the Father's mission. We pray today that going after your example, we may in our lives face the challenges and difficulties with patience, with clear focus on what to do in our lives, that we may feel your powerful presence in these crucial moments of our lives. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Tenth Station Jesus is stripped of his clothing. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider Jesus being stripped of his clothing. His body exposed, a sense of shame surrounding him as the soldiers mock in front of the huge crowd. The same people who used to be there when he preached the sermons and performed miracles are mocking him when he is stripped of his clothing. The Lord God, who made garments of skin for Adam and Eve, is stripped of his clothing, denying the very basic dignity of the person. How often do we speak of ragging as stripping them of their human dignity? Often we see it as a part of fun without realizing what negative impact it brings on the victim's physical and mental health. Most of the times these incidents 
do not come into limelight. The result of it that the victim loses his self-confidence, fears to have so social interactions, or worse, end their life. Let us ask ourselves, especially the youngsters, are we part of this evil system? Are we stripping someone of their personal right of freedom and human dignity? Prayer Lord Jesus, you were stripped of your clothing. You were made vulnerable in front of your people whom you love the most. We pray today for all the victims of ragging. We pray for all those who are involved in this evil practice. We pray for their conversion of heart. We pray that we may become instruments of recognizing human dignity in each person's lives and that we may strive to build fraternity, not to break their self-confidence and self-esteem. For this grace we pray. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Eleventh Station Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Huge iron nails are hammered through his wrist and through his ankles. Iron through human flesh, the flesh must yield there is no defense. Jesus nailed to the cross cannot move. The hand that has wiped blindness from the eyes, the hand that opened the seal of deafness, the hand that touched a heart and cured a leper, the hand that blessed children and those who with a disability the carpenter's hand is joined to the wood again. As the cross is put in the place, he hangs there between us and God, a blood-stained victim for love. Jesus continues to be crucified in the ten children who died every minute of hunger in our world. He is crucified in all who are maimed, damaged and displaced because of war. He is crucified in all who are marginalized in our society because of their race, sexuality or gender. He is crucified in those who are abused physically sexually or emotionally. He is crucified in those who are trafficked across the world. He is crucified in the exploitation of the earth and its resources. Prayer Jesus, we pray on behalf of those who cannot reach out to you at this moment. We pray for all victims of violence, those who suffer it and those who inflict it. We pray especially for children, for the elderly and those who too vulnerably to defend themselves. May victims of cruelty and oppression know that you are always with them. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Let me share with you his pain Who for all my sins was slain
ట్వెల్త్ స్టేషన్ వీ అడోర్ యూ ఓ క్రైస్ట్ అండ్ వీ బ్లస్ యూ బికాస్ బై యోర్ హోలీ క్రాస్ యూ హ్యావ్ రిడీమ్ ద వర్ల్డ్ as the life of jesus ebbs away his words are not of condemnation or of piety for himself but of forgiveness father forgive them for they know not what they do in the midst of his anguish and suffering jesus call upon his father to forgive those who are putting him to death this is the real challenge of the cross forgiveness even of those who hurt us most there is much to seek forgiveness in our world today hunger poverty violence abuse war neglect corruption the list seems endless each one of us praying these stations could continue the list on our own behalf and indeed on behalf of those who have hurt us as jesus died on calvary he challenges to love our enemies to let go of hurt to ask for forgiveness and when we cannot find it in our hearts to forgive to ask god to do it for us father forgive them for they know not what they do prayer let us stand with those who watched and prayed in silence while jesus is breathed his last as we cannot measure love so we cannot dilute this ultimate act of love and forgiveness with words let our love span the silence lord let our love and forgiveness speak our praise how mercy on us lord how mercy may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace let me mingle tears with the morning him who born for me all the days that I Thirteenth Station Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Consider that our Lord, having expired, two of his disciples, Joseph and Nicodemus, took him down from the cross and and placed him in the arms of his afflicted mother she received him with unutterable tenderness and pressed him to her bosom she remembers that little baby in bethlehem worshiped by shepherds and kings and the days when the crowds followed him she is filled with sorrow mary's grief is ours too as she cradles the lifeless body of her son and offers him back to the father she stands with those who mourn over the loss of dear ones through accidents acts of violence suicide illness deaths which were sudden and unexpected and offers them through her immaculate heart to the sacred heart of her most beloved son today our loving mother tells us that we are not alone in our pains and struggles 
and guides us to her son. Prayer O oh Lord, help us to accept our pains and sufferings, especially those due to the loss of our loved ones. Let your words, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted, come alive in our lives, that we may find the true meaning of our pain. Give us the grace that we may not despair, but find hope in you. Help us to trust in you, the Lord of the living and the dead. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. By the cross with you to stay Fourteenth Station Jesus is laid in the sepulchre. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the disciples carried the body of Jesus to bury it, accompanied by his holy mother. Her very being aches as she wraps the body of her child in the cloth of death and arranged it in the sepulchre with her own hands. All those who loved him felt emptied and exhausted. She looks back at the motionless body, remembering the promise of his resurrection. He will be returning to the Father who gave him life so as to save a world created in love. Now everything is completed. They then closed the tomb and all withdrew. The greatest gift the Lord gave us through his death on the cross is the Eucharist, his very body and blood. The sufferings and torments our Lord endured to give us this gift is incomprehensible to us. We read in the Gospel of John that, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. Yet often we forget to love the Lord present in the sacrament. Let us also remember those who receive the sacrament in an unworthy state of sinfulness and also the people who abuse the sacrament. Prayer O Lord, whose heart ever longs for us, we give you thanks that you came down from heaven to feed us with your body and blood. Lord, it's only because of your goodness and mercy and not of our own merits, that you came to us sinners. We ask your pardon, Lord, for those times when we did not show enough love to this great gift due to our neglect, laziness and pride, or received you in an unworthy manner. We also pray for those who abuse your most sacred sacrament, Fill us with a true love for you, that we may remain close to you and your blessed sacrament. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Concluding Prayer Almighty and eternal God, merciful Father, who have given to the human race your beloved Son as an example of humility, obedience and patience. 
to go before us on the way of life, bearing the cross. Graciously grant us that we, inflamed by His unconditional love, may take up your daily cross, so that following Him as His true disciples, we may gloriously rise with Him. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray for the intentions of our Holy Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.